What's going on YouTube? Three Sons RC coming back at you with another bash video. Now we got the boss, the big boss, the Armor Creighton 8S, fully M2 CFI. We're gonna bash this thing, quick bash. But you know how we do it, we do go crazy with the edits. I hope you guys appreciate it, but we're gonna get quick to the bashing. But if you wanna stay to afterwards, we're gonna be doing a quick breakdown of all the parts, the upgrades, and the electronics that we got running in this thing. But let's get at it. Armor Creighton 8S locked and loaded. Let's go, baby. I totally forgot that pole was there. Uh, armor top, baby. Looks good. Wow. Come on, wake up, Dennis. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that bash. 
Armor Crate and 8S just absolutely shreds. And that was just super fun. Sending her, having fun, ripping up the grass, and just having a blast. Right, so let me give a quick breakdown of all the upgrades and the electronics that run in this vehicle. The power plant is a Hobby Wing Max 5 and 800 kV motor. And for the servo, I'm running some eBay special SPT, whatever it is. It's actually really powerful, but it's kind of slow, but it works all right. It gets the job done. For upgrades, this thing's completely m 2 c 5 Right up front, you can see that we have the overkill drive shafts in there. We also have the M2C 7mm shaft kit, which is absolutely essential to hold those shocks together. And it has the aluminum shock rod and to really kind of solidify that front end and hold it together. M2C chassis is the foundation and on these upper braces, I do have those little teardrop ends. I put them on the inner four corners of them and left the outer points plastic that way in case something breaks away. It's easy to get to and you do have something that can break away. So you can see we have the M2C motor mount along with the front steering rack and the front and the rear hinge pin kits that kind of solidify those bulkheads and hold it all together. But guys, that's pretty much it. Completely M2C if I had all the necessary upgrades. Oh, and I forgot, I actually do have the M2C pistons in here. That really helps with the dampening with a slow rebound and sucks up those big landings. If you guys enjoyed the video, appreciate you guys watching even this far. It really means a lot. And obviously, shout out to my subscribers. I don't say that enough. You guys really mean a lot to me. I appreciate the comments, the watches, the comments, all that kind of stuff, the likes, sharing. That just really means a lot to us over at Three Sons RC. See. And if you haven't subscribed, hey, just subscribe on up. It doesn't cost anything, and it really does mean a lot. And clearly, we got to give a shout out to M2C Racing. Uh, without them, this video wouldn't be possible. This rig would not be held together as powerful as it is. Uh, the electronics, the upgrades, everything's held together by the M2C Racing, and it was powered by some CNHL batteries. These are awesome batteries. If you guys want to check them out, link in the description for all the different upgrades and all the different parts on this rig. Appreciate you guys a lot more than you can imagine, and thanks again for watching. Three Sons RC, peace out.